Let's go running, 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 running. Let's crash into the shore. Let's go running, running, running. We're jumping, jumping, jumping. Hi, Cancer. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. I will do your tarot reading from now until the end of August. Cancer, check out all your other videos, all the collective readings and spirit messages and the all signs reading. All right. You guys can follow me on all my social media, book a personal reading with me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Um, and also you can donate to the channel. My birthday just passed on August 8th, so you can leave a love donation on my cash app as well. You guys, this is going to be general for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Anyone with Cancer placements and or any cross watcher. All right, this is my second time doing your video. What I got was Cancer, you were um, not feeling confident enough. There's someone very beautiful and handsome who is coming towards you trying to express their feelings for you. Because they think you're beautiful, they think you're handsome, but you don't, you're, you don't think that you're beautiful and handsome. So uh, you could be experiencing some low self-esteem right now. Someone does want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. You could be leaving a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius um, is separating from you. All right? But I do see if you're not already in a true love connection, you will be very soon. But it's up to you to accept it. It's up to you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about it. And it's up to you to have the courage and the confidence and self-esteem and knowing your worth and knowing you're beautiful and handsome and knowing you deserve the best in life. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for protecting me as I go within the tarot. Please show me clear, honest messages for cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. What's going on for cancer from now until the end of August 2021? All right, we have true love. All right, this, came, this card came out in your first reading I tried to upload. All right, show me cancer's energy. Love yourself first. I told you. You got to build your self-esteem. Build up your courage and your confidence. You the baddest bitch on this planet. You the baddest dude up alive, okay? Anybody would be lucky to have you. That's your energy, Cancer. You need, Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So you res, you got to respect yourself. If you already respect yourself, don't um lower your standards for anybody. No, you're not no, you're not too high maintenance. No, you don't ask for too much. You have high standards, okay? You've been you've been through dealing with people when you lowered your standards and wishing you didn't. All right? This is your energy. You're loving yourself first. Show me Cancer's person's energy. Calling in your soulmate. They're calling you in. I told you they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. They think you're beautiful. They're trying to call you in. Okay, Cancer? What's the mutual energy between Cancer and their person? Okay. Reconciliation. Oh my gosh. If you're not reconciling with an ex, you could be reconciling with a past life person. Someone you had a lifetime with before this one. Someone you haven't met yet in this lifetime, but you will. So, the mutual energy between both of you is you both want to reconcile with each other. All right, but don't um, let those codependencies come with you in the relationship. You have to release those addictions, release that toxicity, release the codependency. When you love yourself first, you're letting go of that codependency. So your codependency cancer could have been you had low self-esteem and was always looking for someone to make you feel good, always looking for someone to make you feel pretty, always looking for someone to show you your self-worth or, or validate you. That could have been your codependency. Your person's codependency is calling in your soulmate. So your person could have been a little obsessive, a little controlling, okay? Wanting things their way, okay? Calling With calling in your soulmate, all right? But you both do uh, want to reconnect and reconciliate. Uh, reconciliate. You want to <laughs> reconcile with each other, all right? You, the passion is still there. Your, so your person said your person's prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you back together and someone from your past is returning to your life so I'm not gonna lie this could be two different people there's someone calling you in and then there's someone from the past and you can make this decision by loving yourself first or this could all be the same person okay okay 
Show me where Cancer is currently, please. Healing that broken heart, Cancer, is what you got to do. Show me Cancer's energy, please. Give me Cancer's energy from now until the end of August 2021. Come on. Pick up. Take action. So you're taking action. Loving yourself first. Doing what you need to do. Exercising. Uh, going to yoga. You know, not procrastinating. Doing things that you need to do the first time. Show me um, Cancer's person, please. Remember, you guys, um, this could resonate in your romantic life, family, home life, career, finance life, co-worker life, okay? Show me Cancer's person. What energy is can uh, Cancer's person in? Show me this person. The gate in the garden. So, your person is trying to figure out ways on how to make this situation better. You see how they're in this gate? There's really nothing wrong with it, but you'll never know what's out there until you, you know, finally step on that path. This is what they're trying to do with you. I'll never know what could happen between me and Cancer unless I try. So they're getting out of their comfort zone, trying to step out of, you know, step step out on faith and say, you know what, Cancer, I'm going to call you in. I'm going to see what's going on. I have the key. I have everything I need. You can't see it, but there's a, um, a key on her neck. Okay? Your person is realizing their personal power and knowing that they have the power to get themselves out of a situation they have the power to make things the way they need to be for you guys to be together this person is um seeing their personal power and saying i have the power to grow and expand get out of my comfort zone and move towards cancer all right i have everything i could need in this gate but i want more with cancer so they're deciding you know what i'll leave everything behind and step outside of this gate for cancer they want to come towards you. And it looked like your ass is running, Cancer. You see how this horse is, the white horse is running from the black horse? Okay, they Cancer's like, I'm out of here. Nope. Cancer said, as soon as anybody try to come towards me with that lovey-dovey shit, I'm out of here. So Cancer could have some type of trust issues. And Cancer's like, you know what? I'm just going to love myself. I'm not letting nobody come in. But you have passion for this person. You both have passion for each other. All right. Um, give me a message for cancer. Anything else that's not in regard to love. So this could resonate in love, family, and romance, and everything like that. But I don't feel like um, giving you a hundred different storylines from these cards. Give me another message for uh, cancer. from now until the end of August for any uh, other area of their life. Okay, could be dealing with the Leo. Happy times ahead. You are beautiful. You are sexy with this Queen of Wands. All right, there's someone who has their eyes set on you and they are coming towards you, okay? You could be trying to block yourself from this person and stay to yourself and focus on your money. Yeah, you're trying to block this person, stay to yourself, focus on your money, but they think you're beautiful. They're going to get past these walls any way they can, all right? It hurts this person to, um, that you have your guards up so high and they see how hurt that you are, but they do love you. And they stress over you, what you don't know. Okay? Or this could be you stressing because this, pers this person is push pushing so hard to get to know you. This person is pushing so hard to call you in and get with you. And they could be stressing you out. And you're like, oh my God, I'm scared. This person is stressing me out. You know, they want, they want something from me. You just think somebody always wants something from you. Okay? Anything else for cancer in regards to finance, career, family, anything else like that for the singles and things like that, please, ancestors and guides. <sighs> Wounded warrior. All right, give me one more card. You always think somebody has a hidden agenda. You hear what SZA is saying? I've had enough of petty dudes. Like, I'm done with that shit. All right, just take it day by day. Mm -hmm. 
I just do it my way. That's all you want to do, Cancer, is do it your way. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This Virgo uh, wants higher level of commitment, higher level of commitment with you. So I'm getting either you divorced the Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, um, or you're marrying a Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Cancer. Yeah, here go that Sagittarius popping up that I said that you were sad that you had to leave. Okay. I do see that, so whether this is singles in regard to your love life, home life, family, career finances, whatever, ain't no pinnacles come out here at all. So I don't know what's going on with your money. There are no pinnacles out here. We do have the sun card, so there are happy days ahead. We're, so in every way, shape, and form in your life. I have the judgment card with the knight of wands and the two of cups, ten of swords, seven of swords, nine of wands. I know you guys may not know what all that means, but I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing from this. You're going to get an opportunity to revisit something again, something that ended as fast as it started. I'm saying, do not revisit that. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands. This person who broke your heart and who's sneaky, protect yourself from this person with the Nine of Wands. Keep your guards up. Very, very high. Love yourself first. People have been trying you, and they've been able to hurt you, and they've been able to get over on you because you have not been loving yourself first. You haven't been doing the thing that's hard to do, which is stick up for yourself and say no. Have high boundaries. Get to yourself, regardless of if you're lonely or not. Focus on your money, work out, exercise, eat right. All right, maybe even with your job, letting people just run over you. Letting them lame ass, messy ass bitches, them lame ass, messy ass dudes get under your skin. Take your credit for all the work you do. Letting your supervisor always call you in, knowing damn well it's your off day, okay? You're getting a chance to revisit that and, and make all that, sh course correct all of that shit. Okay? I don't know who this person is that's coming in. It could be a Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. They're coming back as well. Guard yourself from this person. Guard, guard yourself from this person. They're still on their same tricks. All right? Because you're looking great. I see you guys lost weight with the queen of wands y'all are beautiful okay with the sun card you could be a leo sun a leo moon even a leo rising okay whatever it is you have leo. you could have leo on your chart you probably don't have leo on your chart at all but you look beautiful and you are shining everyone sees that six of swords a lot of people want to move towards you okay <sighs> So your message is to love yourself first, Cancer. There is someone that's calling you in, and there's someone who wants to reconcile with you. So the person calling you in could be one person. The, one, the other person who wants to reconcile could be another person. Or it could be all the same person. All right. Let me see what your angels want to tell you at this time. All right. What do you want to tell Cancer at this time, angels? From now until the end of August, any advice, any confirmation, any encouragement, any words of wisdom for Cancer, please. Cancer, no need to worry. All right. What else for Cancer? What else? Anything else for cancer? Listen to your intuition. Let go. Big happy changes ahead. Okay? Big happy changes ahead. As soon as you let go, let go of people, places, things, situations, negative um, habits, negative ways of thinking, negative spending, negative eating. Let go of whatever it is you need to let go of. Listen to your intuition on how to move forward. All right? Because... There are big happy changes waiting for you. Okay. All right. Anything else for cancer, please? Anything else for cancer? How can they move forward? Can you 
show them how to move forward, give them some guidance and some help on how to move forward and let go and love themselves first. Okay, following your bliss. So you're listening to your intuition and following your bliss. My soul sings with joy. Let your soul sing with joy. Love yourself first. Listen to your intuition. Follow your bliss. So you know you're on the right path if you're happy. Following your bliss. Some of you could um, be musicians. Love to sing. Love to dance. Give me a message to close this reading for cancer. This is the card that came out for you guys. It says, Angel of Miracles, open your heart to expect a miracle. That's the card that came out in your first reading that didn't upload. All right, this wants to come out. Go with the flow. See, you. It, it's all talking about going, going. Let go. Go with the flow. Follow your bliss, okay? It's all about movement, travel. You got big, happy changes coming, okay? Go with the flow, all right? Let things happen. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Listen to your intuition. Let go. Follow your bliss. Go with the flow. There we go. Go with the flow. Let things happen. It's a beautiful card. Okay, here we go. Let things happen. The magic of the universe knows that you desire and want. I'm sorry. Let me read that again. The magic of the universe knows what you desire and wants to deliver the best outcome for you. So let go. Step aside and accept help from others. Sometimes people become used to resistance and struggle. Everyone accepts this as part of how life is supposed to be. When you relax and go with the flow and let go of the situation, you will see how amazing the results will be. It will be more favorable than you anticipated. The mantra is, I accept help from others. I accept help from others. I accept help from others. All right, let your angels help you. Go with the flow. You deserve love. And love yourself first. All right? Let go. Go with the flow. This is all that I have for you, Cancer. Thank you guys so, so much. So, so much for coming back to my channel. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Book a personal reading with me. Follow me on all my social media. And y'all be safe. Bye-bye.